Kate at California Carnivores and today I want to talk to you about dormancy for temperate plants specifically in warmer climates. So temperate plants, temperate carnivorous plants are things like Saracenia, like these guys, North American pitcher plants. It also includes Venus flytraps and some of our sundews like the thread leaves or rotundifolia, um, things like that. So these plants require two things for winter dormancy. One is a shortening photo period and the other thing is um, colder nights. So temperatures at nighttime that start getting below 50 degrees or so. So in the U.S. places where these things don't really happen are um, places like Florida around Tampa and south of there, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and then of course anywhere tropical um, around the world. And you can grow temperate plants in these regions, but you have to do something a little bit special. You have to induce their winter dormancy. So one way we do this is you can um, bare root these plants, stick them, like uh, this little guy, this is a little Saracenia rhizome. And all I did was wrap it in some, um, just some damp, you know, it's not, not a lot of loose water there. Wrap the roots up, put it in a Ziploc bag and stick it in the fridge. So you want to stick it in, the, you want to do this, um, leave it in the fridge, generally from just think Halloween to Valentine's Day. Do it a minimum of six weeks. And what this does is it gives your plant the winter dormancy. Without that, these plants just don't live very long. Without a dormancy, they just start to dwindle. Maybe they can do it one winter, maybe two, but after that, uh, you're probably gonna see your plants go bye-bye. So when you guys get these in the fridge, just check them every couple weeks. Make sure that your sphagnum moss is still damp and make sure there's no mold growing on it. And also make sure to, sometimes we put things in the fridge and they freeze. So make sure it's not freezing in your fridge. And then in the spring, when you're ready, just repot it and put it back outside and you should have some happy temperate plants in your warmer climates. So if you have any questions, um, we do have more videos about winter dormancy for our temperate plants. And um, you can also, you know, drop us an email, write a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. Happy growing.